for the graduation party there'll be a lot of people hanging out on my screen and porch so I like to get that decorated real nice also I'm decorating the yard with the colors of my son's uh, high school which is burgundy and gold I'd like to make a really nice glass mosaic platter but I don't have time to do that because I only pretty much have a day so I'm going to do a faux glass mosaic I'm gonna make it so that it sort of goes with this piece that I have already I have three of these and uh, it'll sit look nice next to the table um, and it'll be nice and warm and beautiful so to make this I'm using acrylic paints metallic acrylic paints and some glue and that's about it so let's get started and see how this turns out okay so we want to start by painting a design on the plate um, start with a clean plate first and I'm going to use a, a flat black to do a design and I'm going to do something really abstract so I'm going to pour out a little bit of my flat black and use a very thin brush and start drawing some shapes on here. I'm going to start in the middle and just do some organic shapes. Also, you want to try to make the lines um, pretty solid because um, the black lines will be sort of like you grout um, between the glass pieces. Okay, so this is what I have. This is my design. And uh, like I said, it's totally abstract. Okay, so now the black is pretty much dry and I'm going to start painting in the different colors. I'm going to start with red with some nice even strokes. Okay, so now I have all my colors filled in into each section and right now it looks like stained glass which is great but I want this to look like a mosaic piece made up of many little pieces so what I'm going to do is go back and I'm going to define those sections and I'm going to add more. So I'm going to go around these pieces. And I'm also going to add extra lines. So I'm going to break this glass up even more into more sections. So you're going to go back around and find the edges. To make more of a grout line and then add some more breaks. And this is going to make it look more intricate. And 
and make it look like a mosaic made up of hundreds of little pieces. Okay, so I think I'm done. I've finished breaking up all the pieces of my mosaic. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna paint around the rim gold because I have these dishes that are gonna go on a table. Okay, so I'm finished with my mosaic platter and I think it turned out really great. I have all the colors I wanted. I have those deep reds and golds. See, this will look really nice. It's still, it's also transparent. Uh, we'll get the sun showing through. I also, I'm also doing some stained glass pieces for the window. This is a piece that I, I made, and I'm doing two of these to, to hang in my, um, my screened in porch window and this will be this is not as intricate but it, it's more of a stained glass look and I put this mirror on here um, just to open up the the outdoors a little more it'll reflect the um, the outside uh, and to make this I use a plate from the Dollar Tree and a little mirror I glued on top of it after I did the design. So both of these I'm, I'm going to um, spray with a coating to protect it. I already sprayed this one. To make the stained glass mirror a hanging piece I used a large washer and I wrapped a wire around the washer so that I'd have something to hang the nail on. Then I glued the washer to the back of the plate. I used the Gorilla Glue Epoxy. You're going to need something really strong for this and the Gorilla Glue is probably the best one. Then put something on it to weigh it down and let it sit overnight. So these will look really nice on my deck. So with the mosaic glass and the stained glass pieces and these great red and gold pillows I was lucky enough to find at Goodwill for $3 each. My screened in porch finally had the warm colors and the look that I wanted that was just perfect for the graduation party and for the rest of the summer. Coming up next I'll be making my son's favorite dish to celebrate with all our friends. <laughs>